My topic today is who shall separate us from his love? Who shall separate us? Or what shall separate us from his love? Today let me say, for us to be separated, we have to be a part of something. Bless the name of the Lord. And the scripture said that We are a part of Jesus Christ. He said he is the branch. He is the vine. We are the branches. Bless the name of the Lord. We are attached to him. So therefore, who shall separate us? Paul wrote, it's a hard question for many Bless the name of the Lord because many know that they are not anywhere in God. But who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Let's reason together. Bless the name of the Lord. If you are in Jesus Christ. If you know the God that you serve. If you are sure that you are sure that you are sure. That you are in Christ. As Paul said. Tell us. Who shall separate us. From the love of Christ. Who. And he went on. Bless the name of the Lord. Should tribulation. Should distress. Or persecution. Our famine, our nakedness, our perils, our sword. And the scripture is taken from Romans 8, 35 through to 39. Bless the name of the Lord. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Tell me, when you are in Jesus Christ, who when you know you're covered under the umbrella of Jesus Christ, who shall separate you? Who shall stop you, my brother, from worshiping God? Who shall stop you from serving God when you know him for yourself? Tell me who. Bless the name of the Lord. Should tribulation Will tribulation stop us? I don't know how many people today have been through tribulation. How many have gone through hard times when the devil batter you left, right, and center? And you're still standing. The man say you lick him down. And he bounced right back. He's a hard man to die. Bless the name of the Lord. When the devil batter us. All we have to do is to stand. All we have to do is to remember. That Jesus said I will never leave you alone. Bless the name of the Lord. I will never, the world never mean never. Bless the name of Jesus. I'll never leave you alone. I will never leave you comfortless. This is why Jesus said, if I go, I will send you another comforter. That we are, hallelujah, you are. Praise God. He will always be there with you. And not only you. Not only me. But everyone. That come to him. Bless the name of Jesus. No weapon. That form against God's people. Shall prosper. No weapon, no 
sword, no axe, no gun, no darts of any sort. None will prosper. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Once you are in Christ Jesus, you are sure. You are confident. You are certain. Hallelujah. That Jesus is with you. You see, not many people are confident. And this is why they murmur and complain. Everywhere they go, they want people to sorry for them. When they are going through their stuffs. But they that live godly must suffer. It's a must. It is not a maybe. It is a must that you will suffer. Everybody's suffering comes in a different form. Because I don't suffer like you. You believe that I am not going through anything. Everybody of the ears are suffering. Hallelujah. The devil knows everybody's weak point. And he will not stop hitting it. But once you're covered. Under the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Once you're covered. The enemy will not have the last laugh. The Bible says in Romans 8 and verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that satisfies. Bless the name of the Lord. Who shall lay anything? The enemy cannot win. Bless the name of the Lord. It was Paul when the, the axe was being sharpened. Glory to God. He said, I have fought a good fight. I put up a good fight. I run the race. I kept the feet. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So whether you take me out or you not take me out, I still win. Bless the name of the Lord. Because I know the God in whom I believe. I know God for myself. And we have to know him. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We have to know him. As it is written. For thy sake. He are killed all of the day long. We are accounted as sheep. For the slaughter. Bless the name of the Lord. We are killed all the day long. For his sake. We are killed. We have been pressed. We have been persecuted. People lie at us. They look in our face and tell lies. They are killing us all the day long. As the brother said, if you want to know God, just start praying. Just start seeking God. If you want to know that the devil is there, if you want to know how much the devil hates you, love God some more. Go down on your knee and start talk to God. Start to live right. Start to live holy. Start to live the way Jesus wants you to live. Then you will know, hallelujah, what the devil has in store for you. Bless the name of Jesus. But if you're not going through anything, if you're not passing through any storm, if you're not going through any 
flaws. Then we need to check ourselves. Bless the name of Jesus. Ask God some question. God, what is wrong with me? Because I'm not going through anything. My life is going smooth. Lord Jesus, something is wrong. Check yourself. Bless the name of the Lord. Because the Bible says we are killed all the day long. All the day long. Mean all the day long. Nay. In all these things. We are more than conquerors. Through him that live in us. Hallelujah. Say so all that we are going through. All the sun, the high hill, and the low waters. We are more than conquerors through Christ that lives inside of us. It is not us, but the Christ that lives in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. So anytime you start to think, God, me skill. God, me know some me here before we overcome this. And me Lord, you just reckon yourself. Hallelujah. Sometimes God saves some people from some accidents. And when God saved them, them said, God, me skill it on. They don't give the glory to God. Them start to say them skill. Oh, they take out of that and take out of that and they don't know how, but they know so they may escape. It is God. God is giving them another chance. Many people do not understand. You get six gunshots. It goes all around you. You should have died where you get the bullet. But you did not die. You are not saved. But God is giving you another chance. To seek the Lord while he is near. Call upon him while he may be found. Bless the name of Jesus. And don't believe that it's just coincidence that you didn't die. Boy, one man get one shot and he died. You got six and you don't die. God giving you another chance. Glory to God. You know, an incident came. And I was saying to somebody, bless the name of the Lord. Because this man fell and broke his legs. And he didn't die. And yet, his brother got a couple shots and he died. And I said to her, look. God, to the distance that he fell, I said, God is giving him another chance. He should have broke his neck. But God, but God, hallelujah, wants him to look into himself and to realize because when he heard about his brother, he said, I should be the one. I should die. He took my debt. But God is giving him another chance. God give men chances. And yet some men get two, three. And they still neglect. They still refuse. Hallelujah. That wasn't in my message. 
The Bible says in verse 16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. God protects his children. God take care of his children. God shield his children. He said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. None. Because his protection is there. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. For I. Hallelujah. The Bible says. For I am persuaded. That neither death. Nor life. Nor angels. Nor principalities. Nor powers. Nor any. Thing to come shall separate us from the love of God. Praise God. No principality, no powers. Hallelujah. No angels need a life, nor death, or any other powers will be able to separate us from the love of God. Praise God. So let it come. One songwriter said, let the disappointment come. Lonely days without a son. He said, take everything, Lord. He said, take the sunshine. Hallelujah. Take the rain. Take the comfort. Give me pain. Bless the name of Jesus. Because I'm placing my whole life in your hand. We need to place our life in the hand of God. And surely nothing will harm us. No height, no depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be lifted up. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise God. In 2 Timothy 2 and verse 21 says, If a man therefore purged himself from these he shall be a vessel of honor sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work praise God I heard somebody talking about the vessel of honor this morning Praise God. We are vessels of honor. Up further in the scripture, it tells you that in a great house, there are different types of vessels. Vessels of silver and of gold. Vessels of brass. Vessels of clay and wood. Bless the name of the Lord. But there's also vessels of honor. Praise God. And this is what we are when we are children of the Most High God. When we are prepared, when we are put down for the Master's use, we become vessels of honor. God can count on us. When God can count on us, you know if God can count on you, you know the things that you are doing. Many people are going to be surprised. When the time comes. Hallelujah. When the time comes. When Jesus shall come. When the rapture comes. Many will be running to and fro. Looking for Tom, G and Ari. Many will be searching for pastor. Many will be searching for other things because they are missing. Where could they be? Many who are calling upon the name of Jesus Christ.
Christ will find themselves searching and wandering and running. This is as a run to the rock on the mountains. Because they are, they are ashamed. Many will be ashamed on that day. But I say to us, you want to read in Radio Land. Hallelujah. Facebook and YouTube. You who are hearing the voice of God. You who are listening. Many will be ashamed. We have to make sure. We have to be certain to say like Paul, who shall separate me or separate us from the love of Christ? Who can pull us out of his hand? Who, when we are in the hand of God, who can take us out? When the storms of life is raging, the, the scripture says, or the song says, stand by me. In time of tribulation, stand by me. In time of hardship, stand by me. And many we weep and we cry and we mourn and we do all sorts of things instead of rejoicing. Sometimes God sends some things on us for us to rejoice. And instead of rejoicing, we complain. And we start to blame God. And we start to blame our brothers and sisters. Instead of rejoicing, giving thanks. The Bible is saying all things we should give thanks. In all things. When them take away your pig, brother. Give thanks. You have something for them take. Give thanks. When them kill all that you have, when them take away everything, still give thanks. Bless the name of the Lord. No murmur, no complain. Just give God thanks. It could be a life. Job said, naked came I into this world. When I came, I didn't bring anything with me. God has blessed me. And if up, it's up to him if he wants to take it. Let him take it. But blessed be the name of the Lord. So we should bless God. You're going through your sickness, brother. Give God thanks. Because he will bring you out. We try all the medication. We try all the bush. We try everything. And we can't get healing. But we forget to say thank you Jesus. Thank you for the sickness. Oh glory to God. What a crazy man. Thanking God for sickness. Hallelujah. Thanking God for the pain. Thanking God. At least you are here to thank him. But many are not here to say thanks. We have much to give him thanks for. Let nothing stop you. From giving thanks to God. Let nothing stop you. From worshiping your creator. God must be worship. God must be praised. God must be lifted up. He said if I be lifted up from this heart. I will draw all men unto me. We have to lift him up. Not only when things are running right. Not only when things look bright, but we have to lift him up in our valleys. When we are down there, we have to lift him up. Because when we lift him up, he will pull us up.
Glory to God. But if we continue to sob and complain and say, God, why me? Why me, Jesus? When you become a child of God, who tell you it was going to be easy? Who tell you that it was a bed of rose? Who tell you that you'll be sailing on petals? Who tell you that? The scriptures say if you're living godly, you will have to go through it. Can Jesus be at the cross alone? And all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. And there is one for me. You have to look on the me part of it. We have to go through it. And if it is sickness, rejoice. Rejoice. Praise God. I've been to the doctors. From I was six years old. I'm suffering with my eyes. I've been to many doctors. Many, many, many doctors. I can't count them. I've been to one over 40 years ago. And they gave me five years that I'm going to lose my sight. Five years. And they gave me an eye drop. They sell me an eye drop. And that drop nearly blinds me. Praise God. The first one I drop in my eyes, I start to see rice grains. When I bring it back to them, they told me it's too strong. And they sell me another one. And for years, I did not go back to them. I went to another one a couple of years after. And they gave me three years. They said, buy a king. Bless the name of Jesus. Because you're going to drop this in your eyes for the rest of your life. Mr. said, no, that is what you say. But that is not what God says. Bless the name of Jesus. And that was over 30 years ago. And I'm still studying the word of God. Because the Bible says study. Yes, study. To show yourself approved. I work my needed not to be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. Study. Mr. God, are you giving the eyes? Are you calling me in the ministry? Are you saying, oh God, that you, I should be an evangelist? You tell me. Mr. say, you can't blind me, God. Bless the name of Jesus. You show me many visions. Taking me places. Mr. God, that not have me yet. And I didn't see myself blind. Didn't see myself walking with a cane. Mr. God, that not happened yet. And he's a God that is true. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. But I still give God, give God thanks. I still praise him. I still lifting up his name. I've been through our times, but I'm lifting up the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Many things come in my way. And if I should testify to take the whole deal. Bless the name of the Lord. I've been through it. Sister, as you're talking about, oh, what you've been through since you got saved. Since I got saved, I've been through high hell and low waters. I could tell somebody I've been through hell, be red. But I'm still standing on the promises of God. I'm still standing because I know that God never fails me. He always come true. Not all the time when you, oh, you want him to come true. By the way that he know you, you should come true. God will lift us out. Praise God. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Praise God. When we are in some situation, 
you know, and we can't find anything. The woman with the issue of blood, she tried for 12 years. She tried everything. She could have given up on life because she spent everything. All we should not have, she spent it. Praise God. But she still hold on to faith. Because she said, one day, one day, one day I knew that I will be healed. I will be delivered one day to come. And when she heard about Jesus passing through, she didn't draw back in her shell. And said, me not going out there. She said, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Because today is my day. To reach out. As the songwriter say, reach out and touch the Lord as he passes by. He's not too busy to hear your heart cries. Oh, hallelujah. I know that God heard her heart. I know. Not because Jesus stopped and said, somebody touch me. But God heard her heart cries. Because she have been crying a long time. Many of you have some sicknesses from a very long time. But God, God still remembers you. The time comes when you will be delivered. The time comes when you will be healed. The man I the yet beautiful was there. They pass him, go, they pass him, come. Hallelujah. I think the same disciples passed them, passed the man more than once. But when the time was fully come, when the day was come, hallelujah, it was the day when Peter and John stopped and said, what can I do for you? Hallelujah. The man was begging arms, but they look on each other. The Bible said they fastened their eyes on each other. And as a silver and gold have I none, but such have I give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Your time come. Your dear come. Bless the name of the Lord. Today may be your day. If you just look to Jesus. Because with God all things are possible. He's passing your way today. Don't let him pass you by. Don't sit down in your corner. Reach out and touch the Lord as he passes by. Don't stay in your corner. Feeling sorry for yourself because a master is passing. And there are many instances blind Bartimaeus heard of him. And he didn't stay in his, in his corner. Hallelujah. Not because he was blind. He needs something from God. So he continued to cry out. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Son of David. Have mercy upon me. When I'm saying, man, shut up. The Savior is passing. Bless the name of the Lord. Some trust people like shut up some people. When they are reaching out. For what they need. Them shut you up. Then some man hush. They move you and then put you one side. And them say hush. And you need something from God. Cry out the more. They didn't stop. But they continue to cry. Son of David, have mercy upon us. Now so shut up and then cry out the louder. Son of David, have mercy upon us. Today is my dear. Can I make it pass? You need a healing. Today is the day. You need deliverance. Now is the time. Reach out and touch him. Reach out 
out and touch the Lord. Lord, here am I. Here am I, Lord. Deliver me. This is my day. Praise God. Instead of sitting down feeling sorry for yourself, reach out to him. Touch him. Because he's passing. Healing is passing. Deliverance is passing. You know, your God is passing. Cry out to him. He'll never turn you away. Bless the name of the Lord. He's meek. He's mild. He's gentle. He will never turn you away. He said, none that come unto me, I will in no wise cast out. None. Whether you're a sinner or you're saved. He said, none that come to me, I will in no wise cast out. I will not turn my back on you. Once you call upon me, I will answer you. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Some man say, God, no answer your sinner prayer. Bless the name of the Lord. But he must wasn't saved. Glory to God. Zacchaeus never saved. The woman with the issue of blood never saved. The woman that come and asks for something, hallelujah, for healing for her, her, her daughter, never save. Bless the name of the Lord. But Jesus, have mercy upon them. Jesus, deliver them. Praise God. Reach out and touch him. Your faith will make you all. Your faith will make you all. Your faith will deliver you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just reach out and touch him. Reach out this moment and touch him. Jesus will say to you, today salvation has come to your house. Blessed be the name of the Lord God of Israel. Praise God. He will touch you today. If you let him. Praise God. If you allow him to touch you. He will touch you. If you allow him to heal you. He will heal you. If you allow him to deliver you. He will deliver you. When they send down the man. Take off the roof and send him down through the house top. Glory to God. Jesus looked and said, Whoa, I've not seen such fear. Such fear. Him said, Man, take up your bed and go. Bless the name of the Lord. Fear, reach out. Reach out to Him. Hallelujah. Whatever sickness you have, whatever disease, whatever complaint, whatever situation you are in, just reach out to him and touch him and he will deliver you. He is able to deliver you. There is nothing hard for him to do, nothing at all. The man that stand in space in nothing and said, let there be and there was. That's the name of the Lord. He's passing today. Glory to God. He hear your faintest cry. Bless the name of the Lord God of Israel. Praise God. If you need a touch from God, come. Bless the name of the Lord. Come to him now. Come if you need a touch. Come. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Come unto him. All ye that labor. And I have laid on. And I will give you rest. Come to him now. Come to him now. Come to him now. 
God is able, whatever the sickness is, God is a deliverer. Don't reach out to pastor. Don't reach out to me. Reach out to Jesus. I can't heal. But Jesus can. Hallelujah. The writer say, I know a man that can. He can heal you. Touch him with your feet. Touch him now. Bless the name of the Lord. He will heal. He will deliver.